Hi everybody and welcome to part two of my Alsace series. So yesterday in part one we talked about the um, geography of Alsace and also the key grapes. So in this segment I'm going to be talking about the main appellations. Um, there are three appellations in total. You have Alsace AOC, Alsace Grand Cru AOC and Cremant d'Alsace AOC. But today I'm going to be leaving out sparkling wine. Um, I'm just going to be talking about the key difference between Alsace AOC and Alsace Grand Cru AOC because it is quite a lot of information and I don't really want to overwhelm. So we're just going to focus on those two appellations today. So I'm going to start off with Alsace AOC and that's the broader appellation. So Alsace AOC covers the entire region of Alsace and within that appellation you can get um, either sweet wine or dry wine. You can get single varietal wine or blended wine. So there is a broad spectrum to what wine producers can do. Um, and the key thing is though that they have to use um, within whatever wine they make, they have to use um, one or multiple of those 10 grape varieties that we spoke about in the previous video. So if you haven't clued up on those, if you want to watch the previous one, part one of this series, I list the 10 uh, permitted grape varieties, of which nine are white. So yeah, just check the other video and it's actually in the blurb as well if you want to just read it rather than watch the video. So um, so there's quite a lot of freedom for the winemakers because they can make either 100% varietal wine. That's really important though. If they put the name of the variety on the bottle, it does have to be 100% that variety. It's not like other parts of uh, Europe where you can put the name of the uh, variety on the wine but it only has to have 85%. They're a lot stricter here so it has to be 100%. And if it's not 100%, then it goes into the blended category. So it has to be 100% um, varietal and one of those 10 grapes. Now, I just wanted to point out one of the grapes in particular that we spoke about. Um, as I mentioned yesterday, nine of the 10 grapes are white. The only one red grape that is permitted is Pinot Noir. Now, within those nine white grapes, one that really sticks out that you should try and remember because it's really distinctive to Alsace is Clevener de Heiligenstein. Now, that is a real mouthful, but if you can try and remember Clevener de Heiligenstein, um, it is a specific one to think about with Alsace because you won't really find this outside of Alsace. Um, it's even though all of the other grapes are grown all over the region, this specific grape is only grown in one specific area of Alsace, which is in the Baran, which, as I mentioned yesterday, is in the northern part of Alsace. So the Baran is where you would find this grape. This grape is really distinctive as well because it has like a pinky greyish skin. Um, and so in um, other areas of the world, they just refer to it as Sauvignon Rose, um, which is a lot easier, I guess, to say than Clevener. So that does make sense. So that one um, is not as easy to find because it's grown in way, way fewer parts of Alsace. It's, it's actually more of a geographical indication, the name of the grape, um, Clevener de Heiligenstein. That kind of gives you a clue. It's from a specific place. Um, so... Yeah, so that's um, one to look out for. Um, and then in terms of the blends, um, sometimes when you buy a blended Alsace wine, there can be labels put on the wine which are indicative of what is in it without actually giving you the percentage of each of each grape of what it, what is in there. So I'm just going to read out these three different um, categories of blended grapes that you can get. So if you buy a wine from Alsace, which says Edelswicker on it, that means that the blend could literally be of any of the 10 grapes with any percentage of any of them. So Edelswicker is really free blend. But if you see a wine which has the word Gentil on it, 
that means that probably at least 50% of those grapes that have been used in that one are noble. So again, if you need to check what one of the noble grapes is, I explain it in the other video. So if you buy the Gentil, I guess it's a higher quality blend, arguably, because it, it means 50% of it is from noble grapes. And then finally, this third labeling um, term that you might see on an Alsace wine is Pinot d'Alsace. And if you see Pinot d'Alsace, that means that the blend will have made up uh, will be made up from any of the four Pinot grapes from Alsace. So that's Pinot Blanc, Pinot Gris, Pinot Noir, and then fourth one, Auxerrois, which doesn't have the word Pinot in it, but it is part of the Pinot family because Pinot Noir is one of the parent grapes to Auxerrois. I know it's all confusing, don't worry, I'm going to list it all in the blurb. But yeah, so key thing to take about Alsace AOC is that you can get 100% varietal, and it has to be 100%, or you can get blends, and within the blends, there's these three different labeling terms that you could see that could give you an indicator of what is in that blend. So that's a little bit about Alsace AOC. So Alsace Grand Cru um, is different, and it's a lot more... Um, specific in what the requirements are. So Alsace Grand Cru AOC means that the wine has come from specific single vineyard sites um, and the rules in which the rules that have to be followed for the wine to be made are a lot stricter. So that will be all kinds of different things. You could Google this because I don't want to make this video too long, but basically has to be from a single vineyard, stricter rules about how the wine is made, and it has to be only made from the four noble grapes. So just to recap, the four no noble grapes are Riesling, Pinot Gris, Muscat, and Gewurztramina, or Gewurztramina. So yeah, so it's a lot more specialist because you can't use any of the 10 grapes like you can in Alsace AOC. You have to use the four noble grapes. Now, there are 51 Grand Cru's, Alsace Grand Cru's. Um, one of those 51 sites does have an exception because they're allowed to use Silvana. That's, uh, that vineyard is called Zotzenberg and they are allowed to use Silvana. But other than that one, everybody has to stick to the four noble grapes. Um, some of these Grand Cru's uh, not many, you have to Google this, some of them do make blends of the noble grapes and not single varietal, but most of them make single varietal. And last thing to know about those Grand Cru sites is that most of them are in the Haute-Ran region of Alsace. So as I explained in the previous video, the Haute-Ran is called the Haute-Ran because it's a higher elevation. It's higher, uh, you know, altitude, I guess you could say, um, where these vineyards are. So possibly cooler and maybe that affects the grapes. So that's why most of them, the Grand Cru's are there. Um, so that's hopefully quite helpful. Hopefully that didn't overwhelm you. It makes sense. But, uh, you know, if you're not sure, just watch the video again or read the notes. I'm going to put it all in the notes. So it should be really easy.